Hey friends, today we're hanging out at Universal Studios Orlando. I wanted to come out and see what's new in the park and then we're gonna ride some rides, eat some food, meet some characters and just have a beautiful Universal Studios kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. Today is Sunday, March 20th, 2022, and I feel like the park is gonna be extremely busy today because we're still in spring break mode, but we'll see once we get in there. I think we're gonna start our day off over at Islands of Adventure because I wanna go meet Spider-Man and also ride the Spider-Man ride because I'm wearing my new Roosevelt shirt and it's Spider-Man the meme. You ever see the meme Spider-Man with him just pointing at things? Yeah, I love it. It's like the whole entire pattern of the shirt and I thought it'd be cool to come out and meet Spider-Man and try to get him to point with me. We're gonna be doing a little bit of both parks today, a little bit of Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios side, and I wanna get something to eat, and I'm not too sure if I should get something uh, at Hogsmeade, like Harry Potter food, or if I should sit down and eat at Lombard's over at Universal Studios, so we'll decide later on. Speaking of Roosevelt shirts, I am so happy to announce that we partnered up together. You guys know I love these shirts and I've been wearing them for years and people always ask where I get my shirts from. Now I have my own collection page where you can see all the shirts that I've ever worn in my videos and you can buy them. And uh, they gave me a promo code for anyone that watches the videos, PMM20, and you receive 20% off your first order. And I'll put the link in the description, but it's pretty much Roosevelt's.com backslash paging Mr. Morrow and I'm so excited. And now the adventure begins. We're gonna head straight on over to the Spider-Man ride, but first we should actually check the wait times. You know what I mean? I feel like you need to check the wait time so we can formulate a good plan. Earlier I was talking about meeting some characters. I feel like the character meet and greets here at Universal Studios are actually really amazing and they're a little bit underappreciated. Like you have Spider-Man meet and greets, you have the Green Goblin, Beetlejuice, sometimes you can see Shrek. There's a real lot of cool meet and greets. So we're gonna try to see as many as we can. Here is a look at some of the wait times. The Hogwarts Express is a 10 minute wait. Dudley do Rights is 60 minutes. Hagrid's is 110 minutes. Velocicoaster 60. Uh, oh, The Incredible Hulk 65. Reign of Khan is 90 minutes. So it is a very busy day today in the park. But like I said, I got spider meme on my mind. So we're gonna head right on over to Spider-Man first. I love how they have designated areas to actually meet some of the characters here at Universal Studios. Before they used to just free roam around the park, but uh, now you can actually just go to a certain spot and meet them. Right here is just Marvel characters, so I'm not too sure who we'll get. I think it rotates. It looks like it's the Green Goblin in here, and that's really cool. Not Spider-Man though, so we need to find Spider-Man, but I don't mind saying hi to the Green Goblin. The goblin is giving me some Grinch vibes here, some mean vibes. <laughs> Mom, oh, no. oh boy. I'm about to lose my temper! Sorry. I'm about to lose my temper, what did I do wrong? Oh, the Spider Man shirts! Spider Man! <laughs> If I had a Green Goblin shirt, I would wear that. <laughs> I would, I mean. A small condolence, sir. Thank you. You're well, completely decked out in ridiculous Spider Man poses on your shirt. I do like it. He's just pointing. He's just pointing. It's rude. You don't point at people. Yeah, you don't point at people. Don't well, you need to set them straight. <laughs> well, can we take a photo with the Spider Man shirt still? Yes. yes, okay, good, good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Holy moly, the Green Goblin was very intimidating, and he actually had a pumpkin in his hand. So that was really cool, and I wonder, I'm going to ask if other characters actually meet and greet in here, because I'd love to come back if Spider-Man's here. You know what I mean? At least he would approve of the shirt. I asked the Green Goblin where I can find Spidey, and he said he's over here, actually. So we're going to go find Spidey real quick. Looks like he's got a little queue here signed up. Look at actually uh, meet Spider-Man here. I love it. This is really, really cool. I'm sure Spider-Man is going to be a little bit more approachable than the Green Goblin. He was fierce though. Like, kudos to him. All right, welcome my name. Thank you. We just, uh, we just came from the Goblin and kicked us out because of our shirts. Yeah, <laughs> he did. 
He, he did not like. Really? He did not like our shirt. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I kind of feel like he's not supposed to, you know. Yeah. I just had to meet Venom ten minutes ago. I mean, how do you think that made me feel? Like? I can imagine. Oh, you met yeah. Venom here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like half Venom. I think. That's oh, okay. Kid in disguise, but I'm not really too sure these days, you know. Yeah. I'm not really. I don't know. But nice. I do love these shirts. You do love the shirt. You like the shirts. Fantastic. That's the way. Yeah, you get the point, you know. Where can I, where can I get one? Uh, Roosevelt's. Oh, yeah, okay. Roosevelt's all the way, man. Yeah, Freddy or Ted. Uh, it's Freddy, no, Teddy or uh, Franklin. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> I love it. Uh, muscles, muscles, muscles. Muscles. Perfect. Here we go. No, nice. more, more. Jeez. Yeah. Oh yeah, like a three, like a yeah, stand -on. Yeah, yeah, like the stand -on. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's awesome. All right, yeah, yeah, you go right there. Now go right there. There you go. All right. Oh, the meme. I know this one. I don't know this one. The meme! Okay. Oh. <laughs> but you guys are too far away. Spider-Man was really, really awesome. And he was so funny because he was memeing it with us. He started pointing like the one finger point. So it was really cool. And then he said he met Venom just a couple minutes ago. And if there was a Venom meet and greet in the park, I would wait hours for that. Now it's time to actually head into the amazing adventures of Spider-Man. It says a 60 minute wait, so we're gonna time it. Sometimes they have a single rider line off, like uh, offering, but I think it's all full up right now. So 60 minutes it is. It took us just about 30 minutes just to get through the outside queue, and now we're officially heading in. I don't know how much longer it would be from this point, but I can feel the AC. That's all that matters to me. Feel it good. That was not that bad at all. It definitely wasn't 60 minutes, just around 30 minutes. And we're here. Got our glasses, we're ready to ride. I wish I could show you guys the ride, but Universal doesn't let you film on the ride. If I can find some stock footage that I can use, I'll put it in, but I can't film on it, so I'll keep the camera down. But it is pretty amazing. Now it's time to return these precious little babies. <laughs> okay. That was amazing. I love it. You know what I mean? I love Spider-Man too. And now I think we're gonna move along. We're gonna keep on going through Islands of Adventure. Probably do a full like loop and then make our way over to Universal Studios side. Up next, we're gonna make our way through Toon Lagoon. And sometimes you can see some characters out here. I'm gonna have to keep my eye out. Sometimes they're just hanging out in a corner. So you never know. You never know who you're gonna see here. Or E.T. <laughs> I'm still trying to decide where I want to eat today. Like I said, my two options are the uh, three broomsticks here at Hogsmeade and maybe get the Great Feast, which is a huge serving of food, or Lombard's over on Universal side, and that's a sit-down restaurant. There's not too many sit-down restaurants, so that's what kind of intrigued me to do it. I've eaten at both places, but uh, I'm not too sure which one I want to do today. I'm so excited for the Orlando Informer meetup in June so I can try a lot of the food I've never had before, like the Dagwood, home of the Dagwood. And it's so cool because whenever you go to the Orlando Informer, all the food is included, so that's when you get to experiment, you know what I mean? You can try things that you don't know if you'll like or not because it's all included in the price. I do have to say, when it comes to water rides here at Universal Studios, I think they are the best. Way better than Disney's water rides like inside the parks, not being a water park itself. Like Pluto's Barge is amazing, and Dudley do Rides is also so much fun, but you get drenched, soaked. <laughs> there is no coming back when you ride some of these rides. You're gonna be walking around a soggy bottom boy for the rest of the day. And speaking of water rides, let's not forget about probably my favorite water ride, Jurassic Park and this one you don't get as wet like as is Dudley Do-Right or Pluto's but it's so fun and I cannot wait I cannot wait to do Jurassic World in Hollywood just to be able to see the Indominus Rex I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna just be fangirling the whole entire time I love animatronics any second now she should be taking that big plunge and we're gonna have to run so we don't get soaked oh boy ah <laughs> oh, okay, that was close. Look, you just kind of, you have to watch the water. So as soon as you see dry land, you're good. Just stay right about there. 
it's amazing seeing all the kids kind of just hang out in the splash zone. I remember doing that at like Hershey Park and Knoebels to like the water rides and I would hang out in like the splash zone on the bridge more than I would actually ride the ride and they're still doing it. You know what I mean? There's so many kids that are just hanging out over there getting soaked by the splash instead of actually riding the ride and it's kind of cool. Definitely feel like nostalgic wise. Look at that. Like I said, you don't get that wet, but it's pretty bad and it smells amazing. I love the smell of the water at theme parks. Since we're actually over in the Jurassic Park area and I don't want to get wet today, I think we're going to ride Velocicoaster. It's one of my favorite roller coasters and since we can't film it, uh, I'm going to have to show you guys some stock footage and some previously recorded footage, but this is such an amazing roller coaster. Looks like the wait time is 75 minutes. So we're gonna see if the single rider line is open and we're gonna be able to maybe cut that time in half or maybe even less, who knows? There are two downsides to using single rider. Number one is it's not a guarantee. So it might be 15 minutes or it could be 75 minutes still in a single rider line. And number two, you can't request a certain row. Like I love the front row, but you can't. You just go wherever they tell you. But still though, like it's still nice not to have to wait 75 minutes. So I'm gonna risk it. Sadly, it looks like the single rider line is closed. They said maybe when the sun goes down, so if you do plan on coming out and you wanna use a single rider, try to do it a little bit later in the evening, but uh, it's a 75 minute wait. I don't know, I feel like I walked over here, so I think we're in it for the biscuit. We're going for it. In it with the biscuit? Look, there she goes. I love it. In it for the biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> I like my catchphrases, but I think we're gonna go. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna go. 75 minutes. We're here. We'll see how long it takes. The downside is, is you can't really bring your stuff with you. You have to put them in a locker. They do have a small locker at the halfway point, so I'm gonna utilize that because you know what I mean. You don't want to wait in line without your phone. I feel like that's like that's that's really hard to do, especially in this day and age. And it wasn't even 75 minutes, it was probably like 55, 60 minutes, but I feel so cooled off and like just, I feel so much better. I love that ride. It really is so thrilling. And when you go over the water and you're upside down, I, it's like probably the best feeling on a roller coaster. Anyways, now we're going to move along, head into Hogsmeade and try to figure out our dinner plans. The busiest part of all the parks is definitely going to be the Harry Potter sections. It gets very crowded in these tight corridors, but take a look at that castle. Isn't she a beaut, Clark? Tight corridor spot. Definitely going to need to get myself a butterbeer after this. Just got to bob and weave, bob and weave. In between, find a small pot, accelerate. Bob and weave, bob and weave. Now that we made it over here to Hogsmeade, I think our decision has been made for us where we're going to be eating today and it's probably going to be over on Universal side. Mainly because I don't want to wait in this gigantic line. Look at it. It is so busy here today. Like I said, spring break, tis the season. And plus, or earlier I was talking about the Orlando Informer. This is actually included in the Orlando Informer, so you can eat here for free if you end up going to that meetup. And I'm gonna be going in June, so we can come back and try some of the great feast items then. At least here when we go to Lombards, we get to try something we couldn't get. 
we might as well just wait until we get on the Universal side to get Butterbeer too. Since we're going over there and we're gonna probably just hop right over there. We're gonna cut right through Seuss Landing and uh, instead of taking the Hogwarts Express, I think we're gonna walk. Taking the Hogwarts Express is definitely a lot funner, but it takes a long time. So it is so much faster if you just go out of the park, exit, and then walk over to Universal side. I mean, unless you want to go on a wonderful train ride. I mean, it's still, like I said, it is really fun, but it is a very long, long wait. Also, it's going to be nice to see Poseidon's Fury with the walls down because it's been closed for the past two and a half years, but it just opened up like last week. Look at that. So beautiful, isn't it? It's really an awesome show. It's not a ride. It's just a basically a walkthrough attraction, but it's really, really cool. You know it's a busy day when the Seuss Trolley Train is a 65 minute wait. Wow. I mean, I love that ride. It's kind of like the people mover of Universal Studios, but 65 minutes? Good golly. Oh, fancy. What a crew, look at that. <laughs> the cartoon Grinch is fun, but nothing will beat the live action Grinch. And you can't convince me otherwise, but the live action Grinch that's usually here for Grinchmas is hands down the best theme park character meet and greet. Out of any theme park, he is the best. I love it so much. Now it's time to make our way over to Universal Studios side and the adventure lives on. I can't get over how beautiful today is. Like just hanging out here on City Walk, walking over to Universal Studios and it is so beautiful out. And the temperature isn't that bad. I think it's like in the high 80s, but there's a nice wind. So it's not overly humid. This is a really awesome Florida day. Look at this big old snake here at Universal too. Oh, there he goes. He's in the woods now. It's a little black racer. They're good to uh, keep the mice away. That was awesome though. And now we made it. Universal Studios Florida in Mardi Gras still going on all the way till April 24th. And it only took us about five minutes to walk over here. So it's definitely a lot faster than taking the Hogwarts Express. I made a reservation to actually go eat at Lombard's. Like I said, there's not too many sit-down locations where you actually have like table side service and Lombard's is one of them. And uh, it's just about that time, so we're gonna head straight there. Normally, anytime I come into Universal Studios, I always head straight down this way. But since we're going right back to the restaurant, we might as well go this way. Let me know in the comments which way you go normally. And also, we can take a look at the wait times. It looks like the Simpsons ride is 50 minutes. Transformers is 45 minutes. Men in Black, 35 minutes. Definitely seems like it's a better park for wait times uh, at Universal Studios side. I mean, these don't look that bad at all. Now, let's see what Gringotts is like. Oh, 70 minutes for Gringotts. Fast and the Furious is 20 minutes. So yeah, it's actually really decent. There aren't as many popular attractions at Universal side as Islands at the moment, especially with the Mummy being closed. But I'm still shocked with the lower wait times. I mean, it's not too bad. The average wait time over here is about 20 minutes. Over there, it's an hour. Oh, there he is too. There's my man. There he is. Yeah, that's the way. Oh, I'm doing great. You have a great day? Me? Yeah. Ah, no, no not too good? Yeah. 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 Seems like the best day for you then. Still dead. Still dead. Still dead. Can't do anything about it. Other than that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Here we have a photo real quick. Oh. Right. I got a lot going on. Man. You got a lot? Oh. You don't want to squeeze you. All right, squeeze me in. Thank you. Thank you. Hold on. Here we go. We're going to do a photo. Beetlejuice is amazing. He literally made my day and made me laugh. And it's so funny because he's like, I could squeeze you in, I could squeeze you in. And then when the person behind me went up to go take a photo, he was looking at him like, I don't want to take a photo with you. And it was really funny. They, they go so deep in the character and I love it. <laughs> we need to get moving along though so we can make it over to Lombard's for our reservation. But look, you can actually see the dragon uh, in Dagon Alley from here. I'm going to try to zoom in for you. Let me know if you guys can spot him there. You can definitely see his tail up in the air, but I think that's so cool. Looks like there's some construction in our way from getting to our restaurant. Might be a little bit of a delay. <laughs> oh boy, we're gonna have to cut through here. We'll go this side. Now we 
we've made it. And you know what's funny is I think I've been on a seafood kick recently. First uh, Boston Lobster Feast, I mean, well, first Cape May Cafe, Boston Lobster Feast, and now Lombard's for some more seafood. They have other things other than seafood here. Here's a look at the menu on the outside a little bit. Looks like we've got the catch of the day, a filet, fisherman's basket, shrimp alfredo, fish and chips, Baja Mahi tacos. They've got burgers, lobster roll, grilled chicken, couple of appetizers, some clam chowder, calamari, some pot stickers. So I don't know, I'm not too sure what we'll get. We'll have to look and uh, try to decide when we get in there. This is a very pretty restaurant, but since it's so nice out, I think we're gonna try to sit outside, see if they have any availability, but I'll give you a tour of the restaurant as we go through it. Lombard's Landing. Wait till you see it in here. Like I said, it's so pretty. Might get a little bit dark, but. Ooh la la. Fancy. They've got some very nice fish fountains here. The stairway going all the way up and then that window. It's a very classy establishment. They even have an aquarium right in the middle of the dining room too. Let me show you over here. Look at that. I love it. Little fishes. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm super happy we decided to sit outside. We get to sit and actually stare at the backside of Jaws, Ghirardelli over there. And this is nice. This is nice. <laughs> I decided on going with the filet and it is such an affordable price. Universal Studios is really good with their sit down prices on meals. This is a filet. It's a six ounce grilled black Angus beef tenderloin and it gets served with roasted parsnip, rainbow carrots, garlic broccolini and crushed Parmesan fingerling potatoes. And it's only $33. I feel like something like that at Disney would probably be $50 and on top of it we're gonna add shrimp to it for an additional $10 so we're gonna get a little steak and a little shrimp but mainly I picked it just because of the sides I love carrots rainbow carrots broccolini and mashed potato well fingerling potatoes so you get like three sides that's a that's a really good deal you know this place is a fancy establishment when they've got their own napkins and it's the good napkins too. Ooh, and fancy silverware. Definitely want to take that napkin home. I used to collect napkins, you know, like all the fancy ones from like the contemporary and I had uh, some Club 33 ones, but uh, Disney stopped making them. Like the contemporary ones are gone. They even had California Grow ones. You guys know what I'm talking about, the fancy napkins, but these ones are nice. <laughs> After dinner, I definitely want to go grab a butter beer for dessert and then also ride a ride or two, you know? I'd love to go on E.T. E.T. is like my go-to ride here at Universal Studios. I love E.T. Uh, or maybe even Fast and the Furious. I mean, I seen that it was a 20 minute wait on the way in. I mean, it's not the best ride, but it's still kind of fun. I don't know. We'll see what we have. We'll see what the wait times are like. And here it is. Oh my lord. It looks beautiful. Look at this. Holy moly, this is so well prepared with the shrimp over here and then you got the filet, the fingerling potatoes, the broccolini and the rainbow carrots. This is one amazing looking meal. Oh, there's a hidden shrimp under there. So you get five shrimp. This looks, I cannot wait. I am so excited. This looks that good. I really can't get over how amazing this meal looks. Look at these shrimp. They look so good and nice and charred on them. I am so excited. <laughs> we're gonna try the shrimp on its own, then we're gonna get to the steak and all the different sides. But I guess the shrimp and business first. So here we go. That is just so good. Holy moly. I can't believe this meal cost $33 for the steak and the potatoes and everything like that. It definitely seems like something you would pay a lot more for. I mean, the steak isn't that big. It's like a six ounce steak, which I think is the size of the filet at Steakhouse 71, which is just around the $30, $40 mark there. But wow, I am so impressed. We're gonna take our time with this baby. Had a little shrimp, now we're gonna cut into the steak, then we're gonna try everything all on its own and then put it all together. All right, let's cut into this bad boy. Gonna have to move this little shrimp out of the way. Got a nice little spot right here. And I am so excited. <laughs> there we go, gonna dive in now. Give me, give it the go.
The steak is good. It's not the best steak out there, but it is pretty good. And like I said, for the price, you can't beat. The shrimp is amazing. And these little sides, like the rainbow carrots, this is what I'm talking about. I can actually come and order all the sides as an entree and be happy with it because these look so, so good. A little bit of the rainbow carrots. Now let's grab a little bit of the garlic broccolini here. Now it's time for the combination bite. A little fingerling potatoes, some carrots, some steak, and some broccolini all in one bite. This is the way. Honestly, I have to say, I think my favorite thing is probably the sides. They are that good. Honestly, the broccoli, uh, the, the uh, garlic broccolini and the carrots, I've been eating them up like crazy. Now I'm soaking up some of that steak juice with my potato. I still got one shrimp over there. Looking good. The steak does get served with the little bolognese sauce. And it usually comes on it, but I always ask for my sauce on the side. Either because like, if you do like it, then you can just dump it on yourself. But if you don't like it, it doesn't ruin the meal. So I'm always a sauce on the side kind of guy. But uh, now we're going to give it a go. Pull a little of that bolognese sauce down there. Bada boom, bada boom, get a swirl. Nice big old swirl. And now we go in for the bite. It's good sauce. Yeah. And it didn't even stand a chance. Roop. I would take a look at the dessert menu, but like I said, I want to get a butter beer later on. And plus, I wonder if we get our annual pass discount. I'll find out once we leave, because that makes it even cheaper if we get our annual pass discount, too. That was so good, and we did get our annual pass discount. We saved $7 with our annual pass discount. And uh, now I want to come over to the backside here and show you the view. It's so amazing. Look at this. Isn't it amazing? Wow, I love it. You can see Lad, uh, Lard Lab Donuts there. You can see the Back to the Future train, Transformers, a seagull, <laughs> a duck in the water. Too bad we couldn't see Jaws. Well, you could see Jaws, he's over there, but I'd like to see like the real like show or the real ride again. Look at these seagulls, they're kind of just hanging out here. <laughs> now, let's go get ourselves a butterbeer, time for a little dessert and a little diagon alley. It gets so busy, like I said, once you get into the Harry Potter areas. And also, it's four o'clock, so my express pass with my annual pass is good. So maybe we can ride Gringotts too. I mean, since we're in here, as long as it's not a long wait, but we get to go through the little walkway here. Oh, and look at that. It's like a whole new world. I think we'll head into the Leaky Cauldron. Doesn't seem like there's a long line for Butterbeer in there. A lot of people don't even know that they serve uh, butterbeer inside the leaky cauldron. So it's kind of like a little hidden secret. Because there's really people, like there's the lines to get butterbeer are really long. But uh, if you're not eating something, a lot of people don't even know to come in here and grab it. In fact, there's no line. <laughs> there's no line to get butterbeer. So let me show you what it's like to get butterbeer on the outside once we get out of here. Oh, there it is. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Just the way I like it. Exactly what I've been missing in life. Cheers to butterbeer stashes. Oh, I love it. <laughs> they also had hot butterbeer, and let me tell you, I was tempted. I do love hot butterbeer. If it was nighttime, I probably would've got the hot butterbeer, but kind of felt like a cold butterbeer today. And look at that view, look at this. Ah. Oh. Too good. Just casually hanging out in Diagon Alley with the butterbeer, you know. Orlando local things here. <laughs> it looks like Escape from Gringotts is a 70 minute wait, but because it just turned uh, four o'clock and now all the annual pass holder express passes are in fact, I bet you the wait time is probably gonna be a little bit higher. And even going in the express, you can just see the line of people going in there. So I think we might just go to ET instead. I mean, we came here with one purpose to come into Dagger Alley and we got it. So I uh, feel like mission complete. We're gonna exit out through this way, but take a look at this. The ultimate family travel solution. Fambus station wagons. The newest addition to the Nimbus fleet. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> I really love it. 
I feel like every time I come to Universal Studios, I do have to ride ET. I love it that much. I love the smell. I love the animatronics. I love the ride vehicle. It's like, it's probably my favorite Universal Studios ride, actually. My least favorite Universal Studios ride probably is the Simpsons ride. I mean, it has a great concept to it, but it really messes with my head. It makes me feel a little nauseous, and I'm not even like screen sensitive, but that ride, it definitely gets me shook up. But I do love the queue, and I love how they poke fun of all the Disney uh, attractions in there. Like they make fun of the Haunted Mansion, and Pirates of the Caribbean, and Dumbo and stuff like that. Kind of like how Shrek 4D did, uh, but uh, yeah, just can't really ride it. Just because I don't like the Simpsons ride doesn't mean I don't like the Simpsons and Krusty is out doing a meet and greet so we got to say hello. Hi Krusty, I just wanted to come say hi. Yeah, thank you. How you doing? Having a good day? I'm going to get a Krusty burger even though I just had a steak. I know, it's really good but I'm going to take a photo of you. Is that okay? I'm going to strike a pose. Very fancy. Here we go. I like it. Oh, yep. Fix the bow tie. Very good. And cheese. Excellent. You're the man. Thanks, Krusty. <laughs> I wish they had a Barney meet and greet. I think that would have been amazing. Not Barney, like Barney the Purple Dinosaur, like Barney the beer drinking character from The Simpsons. I would love to meet Barney. On our way back to E.T., I do want to stop in Bikini Bottom to see if there's any characters doing a meet and greet in there. Sometimes they actually just casually, oh, there is, I see Squidward in there. So we're going to head in there. We're going to head into the SpongeBob store pants. SpongeBob store pants. And there's Squidward. Doesn't look like he's happy to take photos with people. Oh, I guess it's my turn. Hello. Whoop. He's, oh, there we go. There we go. Guys, gonna be on this side, guys. Fancy. Oh, uh, bye. Oh, I'm out. See ya. <laughs> and also, take a look at this as I was walking around the store. Look, they're selling Roosevelt's inside Universal Studios now. How funny is that? I love it. And I have a couple SpongeBob shirts. I should break them out and bring them here next time I'm here. That is so awesome. I'm so happy. Like I said, I've been loving these shirts forever, and you guys know I help. I own a lot. I own a lot. <laughs> well, today I got chewed away by uh, Beetlejuice and Squidward, so I feel like we're doing good. How funny is that, though? <laughs> it still cracks me up. But now it's time for E.G. It says a 25-minute wait, but luckily we've got the. Uh, Express. It also looks like the pre-show is back, so we're gonna be able to see Steven Spielberg. I, I don't I feel like I haven't seen the pre-show for this in a long time. Experience the mystery, feel the suspense, and ride the adventure. ET <laughs> needs your help. Now we've just received an urgent message from ET's teacher Botanicus calling for ET to come home right away. That's awesome, they're even giving out the uh, passport, so they're gonna ask for our name again. Nathan. Oh, thank you. There it is. Oh, well, here comes our bites. Nathan! 
I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm a pretty big deal here. He even knows my name. Did you hear that? Nathan! Well, now I think it's time we start heading back to the front of the park. What a fun adventure we had today, though. And with that, I think we are done here today. What a fun, adventurous day. I had so much fun. We got to meet lots of characters and ride a couple rides. Had a nice little steak dinner. And I just got to enjoy Universal Studios Orlando. Don't forget, if you guys want to buy any of the Roosevelt shirts, make sure to use my promo code PMM20, uh, and you get 20% off your first order. So if you order multiple shirts, you get 20% off all of them. So it's best to use it, like if you plan on getting one or two shirts, you know what I mean, or three or four. And I love these shirts, like I said. They're like perfect, the material's amazing, and I love all the designs, and so many cool Marvel designs that like, coming up. Like right now, we're talking about Spider-Man, but there is a lot more to come in the next videos I can't wait to show you in fact maybe when I get home I'll show you some more of the spider-man shirts that came out because they are cool they have a venom one I don't know I'm really excited and if you want to see all the shirts that I wear I'll make sure like I said I'll put the link in the description so you can check my collection page at roosevelt.com to buy anything so I hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye